Oh my, you've caught me having a sneaky little cake break. My name is Sarah McIntyre and I'm the illustrator of Mythical Maze, the Summer Reading Challenge 2014. One thing you should know about me, I love cake. I love it so much. One of the cool things about being a, a writer and an illustrator is that you can make books about the stuff you love. And uh, since I love cakes, I've made some books about it. For example, Cakes in Space is coming out this autumn and I made it with my friend Philip Reeve and it features killer cakes in space. And my friend David O'Connell and I have done a book called Jampires, which has these little kind of vampire characters who sneak in in the middle of the night and suck all the jam out of your donuts. There's loads of cake in this book, loads of yumminess. Yum, yum, yum. But enough about cake. Why don't we do some drawing? I'm gonna show you how to draw one of my favorite mythical maze characters, Anansi. He's a very cool spider. Come on over to my desk, I'll show you how. Right, here we go. First thing you want to draw with Anansi are his cool specks. So, two circles, like that. And then fill them in with another circle. They're quite dark glasses. So maybe fill it in and leave a little highlight there. There we go. Then connect. And it's got two little sort of bits sticking out the side as well. And then do his mouth. Start with a line. And then draw two other lines around it. Now he's got a sort of beard. So he'll come down from the side of the glasses and draw these kind of jagged lines like that. Now we're going to draw his hat. So it's at a jaunty angle. Do a line like that. Another line like that. Connect the two. It's like a sausage. Then put two lines coming off the top. And connect them. And a little band. Then connect his head to the hat, like that. Now he needs a body. So we're gonna draw a circle right here. And he needs eight legs, of course, because he's a spider. So one, there's a leg. And let's put a boot on it. He's got some cool boots, like that. And another leg, boot. He's got kind of little spats, so you, you can put little shading lines here. And another leg, another leg. They might cross over a bit, like that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We need three more. Six, seven, and eight. It's kind of hidden behind his head there. And the thing that makes him really look cool is I've put lots of hair on him. So give him loads and loads of hair. Hairy spiders are great. You might think they're quite disgusting, but I think he's awesome. And this guy, he needs lots of hair to spin all his tails. And actually, we've got to have him spinning, so let's have a big line coming out the top. It's a spider web line. And some more hair around his beard. You could spend ages drawing hair. Makes a nice satisfying noise. More hair. And that's our chappy. And of course, don't forget to sign your picture. I'm going to sign mine, Sarah McIntyre. And here we go, here's my Nancy. Hope yours looks as good. So, good luck with the summer reading challenge. Hope you have loads of fun.